About 24 hours ago, the wind, especially in eastern Oregon, and now yeah. firefighters have a handful, really. They really do, and those winds will continue tonight. They'll weaken a bit, but they're still going to remain strong overnight tonight and even into tomorrow. Not as strong as they were this afternoon, and they're also strong in the Cascades. Check out this video from our SkyCam at the Dalles looking at Mount Hood, and look at those clouds just creeping over, cascading over the Cascades, if you will, as the onshore flow picked up, and then it cleared off a little bit as the evening wore on, but still a really impressive look at the mountain and the clouds as they rolled in with this cold front, a dry cold front didn't bring any rain, but it certainly brought cooler air, which in turn fueled those strong winds through the Columbia Basin here. We had some thunderstorms in Malheur County earlier in the day. Portland 76 still above average for this time of the year. Won't be saying that very often in the next week or so. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. 91 in Pendleton. We won't be seeing many 90s on the map either for the next week, which uh, I don't think will bother too many people. 52 in the morning. We've got some cold nights on the way for this time of the year. We'll drop into the 40s for several nights, especially when you get away from the city. Sunset at 901. Clouds will break up by noontime, and I think it'll be mainly sunny by afternoon, but only 68 for the high temperature. And then it'll begin to warm up a little bit as we go into Thursday and Friday because high pressure, not super strong, but it'll begin to build in behind the system that'll be departing on off to the east. So that's what's coming our way for Thursday and Friday. A little warmer, really quite pleasant. The winds will be backing off really tomorrow night. It's going to stay rather breezy, as I mentioned, as we go into the daytime hours tomorrow. We will have clouds around in the morning tomorrow. See, the winds are all strongly onshore here and really whipping through the gorge. Great week for wind surfers and kiteboarders. And then on Thursday morning, clouds again, but they are more limited in scope and they're going to burn off a little more quickly. So we'll get a little bit warmer, but still, Onshore flow that's going to continue all week long. We don't ever really go northerly and certainly not easterly this week, and that's going to help to keep our temperatures in check. So let's go through what this looks like over the next several days. This is that area of warm air that builds in for Thursday and Friday for some really pleasant weather. I mean, morning lows in the low 50s, highs in the mid to upper 70s, lots of sun. So that'll be great. But this is the weather maker for the weekend, and as it drops on into the northwest, it gets a little bit stronger. I think it's going to be a rainy Father's Day. I've been saying that for a couple days now, and I think that's going to be the case. I see no indications as to why it wouldn't be rainy on Father's Day. And even on Monday and into Tuesday, this general area of cool weather stays parked here in the west, so much so that if you look at the 6 to 10 day forecast, this takes on through next week, the June 19th through the 23rd, so pretty much all of next week. Look at the west. Just below average temperatures for the entire western third of the country, hot weather in the Midwest and then somewhat cooler back east. But this is a big anomaly, a big bullseye of much cooler than average weather, not just for Oregon, but really all of the western United States. OK, so let's talk about the rainfall because that's a thing, especially on Father's Day, right? Not a ton by later in the day, according to this model. But here's the thing, the trend has already gone up. This is more than it was showing us by six o'clock on Sunday from yesterday's model run. And if we let this roll into Monday, then it really clicks up to nearly an inch in the Portland area and a half an inch in the uh, rest of the Western Valley. I think that what is most likely to happen is that we end up with four tenths, maybe half an inch of rain, 93 hundredths of an inch may be an outlier, but still it is going to get wet Sunday and into Monday and even into Tuesday of next week. So we've got some cool weather to contend with going forward. It is 58 right now and the freezing level right now is 14,300 feet. Just take the one or the 10,000 off that by the weekend. The snow level will be down around 4,000 feet, which means there will be snow in the passes as we go into the weekend, especially on Sunday and into Monday. So partly cloudy and breezy tonight and then clouds in the morning, sunny in the afternoon, high temperature of about 68. We climbed to 75 on Thursday, 78 on Friday. Then the bottom drops out 68 Saturday and barely out of the 50s on Sunday. We may not get it out of the 50s That's on incredible. Sunday. It really is quite the it turnaround, is June, right? Right. If you think about all the 90 degree weather we've already had so far I this know, spring, then suddenly we're we're scratching and climbing to get up to 60 on Father's Day. It's Big a change. shocker. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Matt. You bet.